Okay, for this one, I found a really cool graphic image online of Catwoman that I wanted to use. Um, however, I have to be careful when I'm cutting out the stencil of it because if I were to simply trace all the black shapes, some of them work out just fine until we get to the mask. And then there are several black shapes inside of other black shapes, which is going to run into that problem again, which I always talk about the pumpkin eye, um, where those, those parts are just going to fall through. So what I need to do is go through and separate all of these into separate shapes. I'm not going to worry about this or this because those work just fine but I am gonna do some clever breaking up of some of these black shapes here. And I'm gonna use a metallic Sharpie just so hopefully it can show up for you. So there's this white stitching here and I'm just going to sort of improvise and carry that all the way down into this area. And I'm gonna cut across to the other white stitch and I'll come back and I'll deal with this area later. So my goal is to make a shape that where the line ends where I started it up here. So I've got this part here. I go up and down these little stitches here, over and across. And for now, I'm going to also treat these as different little shapes too. So I'm just going to go up and over. I'll include her eyebrow in here. And this line in general that outlines her thumb, I don't know that I really care about that for right now. I might just completely ignore that. All right, so this is one shape that I'll be cutting out along with these two guys here that were nice and easy. So now I'm gonna go hop over to the other side of the head and I'm gonna leave a little space and I'm going to leave a nice exaggerated outline around these white stitches. Remember the goal is to have the shape starts where it ends. So right now I've got the two lines going. I want to make sure they meet each other. All right, I'm going to stop there for a second. I'm going to go back over to the top of my shape. See where this guy's going. A nice big white stitch mark there. Perhaps I should have stopped there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little note to myself because I made this line here, which is noopsie. I don't want to do that. Um, I might be able to just cover back over it with a. Oh yeah. Let's cover back over it with a sharpie. So that way I remember that this now is its own separate shape. So now I've got one, two, three, four shapes. Um, I think this little guy right here, I'm gonna make its own shape also. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see a little better what's going on. So now this is my fifth shape to break that up again where this white stitch came all the way through so that white stitch is now connecting this space to this space and now I have to deal with this whole like area above her nose into her eye which I think I'm just gonna break this into one shape I'm gonna exaggerate that space again All right, just like that. So now this is my sixth shape. And now I have to deal with the eyes. I think what I'm gonna do here is kind of create a break right through the middle where those black lines are the thickest, or the thinnest, excuse me. So, actually I'll try to just make this one shape. 
it's this white space in between all of that black space there that's tricky. So I'm going to leave a little gap. I'm going to outline this. I'm going to bubble this down. Come around here to the pupil. Stop and go back. So that's now an entire shape. I'm going to do something very similar just on the other side. So all of these areas will be cut out separately and notice how there's a little bit of a gap in between all of those shapes which will just barely keep them all together. Alright, I'm going to keep pulling out the rest of these few shapes here and show you how it looks in the end.